Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to stabilize a sped up track in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to be showing you a good workaround that allows us to stabilize a sped up track and it's going to be nice, quick and easy. So as you can tell, I have a track on my timeline that's currently set to 150%. And if I try to add the warp stabilization effect to this, we're going to get the error on screen saying warp stabilizer and speed can't be used on the same clip. And no matter what we do inside Premiere Pro, with this clip in its current condition, we cannot add a warp stabilizer to it to actually smooth out the track. So what we're going to be doing for now is coming up to our effects controls. If you can't find this, come up to window and click on effect controls. And we're going to be removing our warp stabilizer for now. We're going to be coming back down to our timeline and we're going to be selecting our video track. We're going to be right clicking and we're going to be clicking nest. Now by clicking this, we're going to be creating a nest or a new sequence, which is going to contain anything we have highlighted on our timeline in a new sequence. So we can name this whatever we want right now. So in this case, I'm just naming it speed up. Click OK, and then you can tell the track on our timeline will change to green, which is the color of a sequence in My Premiere Pro. Of course, if you have the colors change, it will be something different. But now this is acting as a sequence rather than a video clip. So now if we try to re-add the warp stabilization effect by coming to our effects panel, by coming to window and clicking on effects, if we drag our warp stabilizer on top of our nested sequence, now you can tell Adobe Premiere Pro is analyzing in the background. And in this case, it allows us to add warp stabilization to a track, even though it has been sped up previously. Just by adding it to a nested sequence, we can do a little workaround to kind of trick Premiere Pro into allowing us to do this. And it works really, really well. If we come to our effects controls, we see that stabilizer is fully working on here. And if we watch through our track, it's pretty smooth. Even though this track is really just an example piece, it's not really meant to show off how smooth it is because this track is super shaky. It was really just an example to show you how to add a warp stabilization to a sped up track in Adobe Premiere Pro. This workaround method works really well and it's really, really easy to do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you want to suggest any other tutorials I should make in Premiere in the comments down below. I have a bunch of other tutorials on the channel related to Premiere and a couple of other Adobe software that I think would be really beneficial for you guys to check out. I'm also going to leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you want to support me. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.